carrying the few belongings they took when they fled, residents are heading home on foot or by motorcycle. We passed these residents on Sunday morning in the bush, making their way down the dirt tracks that lead to Sokode. The previous night was calm. No shots were fired by soldiers. So after six days of living off cassava, this group of women decided to go home. We're hungry. I'm hungry right now. The police officers beat us. That's why we went into the bush. We were told they'd left. So that's why we're going home to see if it's true or not. Violent unrest between soldiers and young protesters erupted on October 16, killing three people, two of whom were soldiers, lynched by the crowd. The crackdown that followed triggered this massive exodus into the bush. Despite the relative calm, many people still fear for their lives. When I see a soldier, I'm scared. Those that shoot bullets and all that, I'm scared. You see, my dad went back to Sokode and told me to go back, but I said no. Has it really calmed down? He says it has, but I don't want to go home. 20 kilometers away in Sokode, life is slowly returning to normal. A few stalls are laid out at the market and small shops are open for business. Yet signs of the recent violence are clearly visible. Back in the safety of their homes, wounded residents tend to their injuries. This young activist was brought home from the hospital two days ago. He claims he was injured by soldiers. They beat me. I started to run outside. I was running and when I left one of them followed me. He shot me twice. But I can go out, I can go out and protest again. Now we're angry. We have realized the president really doesn't like us. For the government, there has been no repression. Since the political crisis started on August 19, tension continues to rise in Sokode, Togo's second city, and the stronghold of Tikpi Achadam's Pan-African National Party.